Hello YouTube. It's been a while since I uploaded a video. I was quite busy working on a new secret project which I will reveal next week. And in the meantime I wanted to show you this guy. Some of you might remember this six keypad keypad mechanical key keypad with all the display and you have two layers on the switches I made a video of that uh, I was gonna initially make this but then uh, I decided to do something different with a twist with a rotary encoder twist for volume or whatever you want to use it for it's basically the same and I made a nice case for it this one only has this uh, bezel, 3D printed bezel, and you will find out soon why. This one is much more involved and I wanted to make a top bezel to cover the sides of the holes and uh, figured it's too much work and I left it like this for now. So, and I also made a bezel for my CNC pendant that I showed you also so the sides are now closed and I will put these up on Tindy soon I did not get around to do it yet but I will and I wanted to make this video also to show it again so this is my CNC pendant you can find uh, the video in my channel so now for this little guy it has again six keys you have a switch for first level second level you have a switch for to turn the neo pixels on and off and you have the OLED display or LED display now let's plug it in and this is it in its glory so here you have again the display for the first and second level you can change the colors here these are neo pixels you can change them to it whatever you like you can change the uh, keys of course to what you want to use I did arrow keys on here because my 60 key and pro keyboard doesn't have dedicated arrow keys and I use these all the time and this is the let me put it on the table which is the one advantage you have with a rotary encoder like this is you can use it with one finger and you see the LEDs light up gradually actually and I might change the code so you will have uh, the ring the half ring going around like that and you have also mute and uh, to show you that I'm not lying I have a screen here I use the magnifier Windows magnifier and I'll show you right here so this is it it's very responsive mute turn it on so this is the volume and the other keys I have showed you before oh, let me show you here so of course you can adjust the brightness in the code and you can upload the code as you wish I will make it open source I combined uh, <coughs> excuse me several different codes to make this happen and this is it this is my six mechanical key keypad with a rotor encoder right now it's for volume but you could of course use it for if you do video editing to scroll forward and backwards in your video whatever you like it's very easy to program you don't need anything else just the RD new IDE write your code or edit the one I will supply click upload as soon as it's uploaded it works you don't need to plug it in unplug it or whatever it just works as is and uh, those are the side emitting neopixels that I use also on my police light for RC vehicles 
and those are <laughs> very very bright but uh, as you might know me I love neopixels and they can't be bright enough so this is my keyboard keypad version 2 this one version 1 and of course that one works too it just don't have the um, it doesn't have the rotary encoder oh, I just turned the thing off so this is version 1 if anybody is interested I don't know if I'm gonna put this up there too I might as well do it since I have it made but uh, this one I like the most and uh, I put some foam pads underneath so it won't slide around and you can just you see it up there just use it for let me turn this off real quick it's driving me nuts actually I put it on 400% so this is how the volume key looks like it is over there and you might see some uh, jittering on the zoom but it is very very smooth and as you, if you do like to watch YouTube videos as I do and I always get uh, upset if the intro is so loud and then you can hear the guy talking or the background music is too loud or whatever and instead of getting, going into even YouTube and adjusting the volume there it's so much easier to do it on the keypad and uh, not many keyboards actually even full-size keyboards have a volume key and for anybody who wants to use this it's perfect and even if you have a laptop which of course doesn't have a volume key just maybe buttons that you have to push shift or function and then plus and minus and which is a pain in the butt this is much much easier so this was it uh, I also wanted to thank a special person who ordered a GPS from me George from Santa Barbara and he sent me after he paid it and I made it I sent him out to it out to him today made some pictures and a short video and he did send me a very generous tip and I really really appreciate it not just because it's money but just the thought of it it's even more important and that somebody appreciates my work and uh, thank you again George uh, I will send you an email with a link to this video so I don't know if you're following my videos or not but maybe you will after this so thank you for everybody and um, stay tuned if you want to see my surprise in about uh, well the PCBs are ordered it should come beginning of next week it takes uh, actually two days from China to Bulgaria and then a whole week from Sofia which is 600 kilometers from here to Silistra which is a city next to me actually 40 kilometers away and since uh, I'm living in a remote location according to DHL and I have to pay taxes DHL customs and broker fees I have to drive 40 kilometers back and forth 80 kilometers to pick up the package and uh, the people at DHL Sofia I wish they would uh, work faster but it, it takes literally a week from Sofia to here 600 kilometers and it takes just two days from Hong Kong to Sofia to Bulgaria well anyway uh, many people will know how DHL works so we have to live with it anyway long story short thanks for watching take care everybody and see you later